What's up, Hurons? What's up, Saints? What's up, moms, dads, sisters, grandmas, cousins, uh, everybody that's joining us every week. Um, it is just so cool. I'm hearing from a lot of people um, that everybody, oh, sorry, and grandpas. Yes, for sure. Can't forget about grandpas. Thank you, Fisher. Um, but and the point the is, family. and the whole family's coming together and doing this. That's what, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, this is just awesome. Um, keep it up and, and the way that it's going, it's, it's really great. If you know somebody that might benefit from this, like we're all stuck inside and we don't have, you know, a lot of opportunities to get out and do things that we would normally do, um, to lead that healthy, active lifestyle. And hopefully this has given you an outlet to do those. And, um, please keep sending me comments on the website. Um, Thank you to Mrs. Pulaski for getting the word out for us, and uh, we just really appreciate it. Keep coming back, hanging out with us. Um, as far as today goes, I'm thinking that we will kind of finish up what we're learning about yoga. Um, we're going to learn five more positions today, and after that, we'll have five plus five plus five. What's that, Fish? Um, that's a five. Yeah, five plus five is ten. Plus five is fifteen. Fifteen. Awesome. So we know fifteen yoga positions that we can do. And I was thinking that we come together on Sunday and we would just do like a real yoga session on Sunday. Um just another opportunity for us to use this activity to kind of just help us relax, get rid of some tension, get rid of some anxiety. And, um, you know, and, and at the same, same time, burn calories, build muscle, and, um, you know, just add another thing to our, to our repertoire of things that we can do to be physically active. So, before we get started into any of that, um, I promise you again, these are in honor of Fisher. This is his favorite bounty hunter today. So those are Boba Fett's socks. And Star Wars. Yeah, from Star Wars. And these are my second favorite, Stormtrooper. Oh, it's Stormtrooper socks, yes. And some other different kinds of Stormtrooper, too. Yep, very cool, very cool. So, we got that side of it for you. And also, um, thank you to the people that chimed in about doing some song requests. We have a very special one today because it is Fisher's Bama's birthday today. And she's the first one that actually chimed in, and she wants to hear Uptown Funk. So we'll start off warming up to Uptown Funk. And then we had uh, Bo and Harper Grilke, who put in some requests also. So we'll do Bo's request after that. And then later on, when we do our cool down, which I forgot to do last time, sorry about that. But we will do our cool down to Harper um, and her song request. So like I said, tune in. Make me a comment. We still only had like six or seven comments, and I think over 100 people went to the site. So feel free, just even just chime in and say hi. Um, that was cool, or hi, that's stupid. Let's do something else. Whatever you want to say. Um, don't don't say stupid in the middle of PE class. All right, thank you. I, yeah, but you can still say it on. I mean, you don't have to write that, but whatever. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, you gonna join me today, Fisher? Come on. Let's do this. Yes, position your toys. Come on, quick, quick, quick. So, you're gonna do this in your socks? Where are your shoes, man? Yeah. Yeah, let's put your shoes on. All right, so remember some of those things that we've learned before as far as the warm ups that we can do in small spaces. We've got jogging in place, butt kickers in place. High knees in place. We move forward five steps, move forward back steps, doing all those things. We have mountain climbers. And we're gonna do another one today. And let's try that one first. Show me how you would make an X with your body. Now jump to an I. Ooh, what are those called? Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. So we'll do some jumping jacks today too. All right, so. Let's get started with our warm up. After I that, we it. will stretch. We will exercise after that. And then we'll learn five new yoga positions. We'll practice those and then we'll put it all together. We'll learn all 15 um, in one big lesson. And then we'll come back together on Sunday and we will do our own little 
meditative yoga lesson, right? Can I tell you something? Sure. Um, I I just learned of a new way of jumping jacks right now, and it's and it's and I just made it up. So this is called doing fast jumping jacks in place. All right, we'll do those. Maybe. Ten. 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 Ten.
Slow circles forward. After we warm up our muscles, we like to stretch them out so that we don't get hurt. So we warm our muscles up, we stretch them out so we're nice and flexible throughout our exercise, and our chances of injury go down backwards, big and slow. as you reach to your ankle without bending your knee. Mm, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, to the top. Big breath out. I'm already getting sweaty. Super. Yeah. We're doing our job, aren't we? Yeah. Good. To the side. Ready? And five. 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45? 50. Awesome. Great job. To the top. Well, I guess this to 50 is how we're going to do 100. Nope. Just to 50. And uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Diez. Walk your hands I, up. I, I, up. I just want to like twelve. Like it's that. still March, which Red. means we are still at 17 push-ups. Here we go. Bend the elbows, push yourself up. Try and keep your back flat. I want to do one arm. Um, well, let's do the regular ones good first. Down up one. Down up two. Down up three. Down up four. Down up five. Down up six. Down up seven. Down up eight. Down up nine. Down up ten. Down up eleven. Down up twelve. Down up thirteen. Down up fourteen. 15, 16, 17. Hey, you know what we haven't done hmm. um, on our PE classes? What? Plank moves. Plank moves? Yeah. Plank moves. 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 Ye
planks. <laughs> we should do those today. Yeah. Very uh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I. Um. Yeah. We haven't done planks yet. Good idea. Let's do our ab exercise first. These are bicycle crunches. So, scoot over this way. So you're not gonna be bumping up against there. And spin so they can see you that way. All right. So we're gonna go like this. Your feet are gonna pedal the bike. But when your knee comes up, you're gonna have your hands next to your ears. And you're gonna turn so you try and touch your elbow to your knee. And you go side to side, side to side. Just like that. Let's do 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! I think I'm gonna pass out. Don't pass out yet. We still gotta do yoga. Alright, yeah. planks. Here we go, planks. When we do planks, we go on our forearms and our yeah, toes. Yeah, um, and don't stick your butt in the air. Don't and stick it, your butt in the air. Just go like this. Yep. Don't stick your butt in the air. Don't let your hips drop. Try and lock it in nice and flat. It's kind of like a bridge. Just like that. Ready? Oh, you're already up. Up. And we'll hold this for... Daddy, like, keep it like mine. Don't stick your butt in. I'm not sticking my butt. Are you? Am I? No. No, I no your butt's kind of bigger than me. <laughs> Thank no. you. No, so your butt kind of sticks up in. Well, let's stop talking about my butt, okay? Okay. Here we go. Keep it going. Why are you Don't call me that in PE. Sorry. Just Don't talk about butts and pee. Okay. All right then. Here we go. Just hold it. Right now in class we're at 80 seconds, so that's one minute and 20 seconds. Whew. And after we did all that exercise, how about we hold it for 30 more seconds? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Very good. Nailed it. Excellent job. All right. Now, let's remind everybody all the yoga positions we've learned so far. Come on. Get the yoga mats out. You at home, get your yoga mats out. Which one are you using today? That one? Yeah. Good. How about every day we do PE? Um, we we switch. So today, um, so because the first day that we did PE, here I did that one, and then um the second I did this one, then I did that one. Now I'm gonna use this one. Well, this is only the third time. Yeah, so and then and then the, and then the fourth time I'll do I'll do that one. All right then, whatever you like. All right, so let's remind everybody what we did. So far, we've learned triangle, butterfly catcher. the flat flamingo, the, butterfly catcher. the cat, mm -hmm. the bench, the bench, the bridge. Here, stand back so you can see your face. The bridge, the bridge, and the butterfly catcher. Butterfly catcher, <laughs> the hawk. Ooh, that's oh, that's the hard one. The superhero and the stork and the sports stretch. So let's go through these one more time. I will. Hey, how about let's do the hard one first so we don't have to worry about doing it? A wonderful idea. That is my approach to well, remember everything. Remember that time I did the hard thing on my homework first so I, so I don't have to worry about it? That's right. Did you feel good after that? Yeah. It was hard for a little while, but then when you were done, you were like, ah, I don't have to worry. That's why I always tell people, as soon as you get home, do your homework. Don't get it do done. It. That way you don't have to think about it anymore. Older kids, if you got a paper to write, just get it done. Work at it. Take the time right now to do the things you don't want to do, because then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And then you anyway. can play like All right, so our hard one was the hawk. Remember the hawk? Yes. Let's do it. Right. I know how to do it. You go like this. And that's it. That's our hawk. We get our knees right up on our elbows, our hands underneath. And... I don't like just doing it on my hands. If 
behind it. And we're always doing what, Fish? What are we always doing? Concentrating on our breathing. Concentrating on our breathing. You're nailing it, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Right, here's Superhero. <laughs> Superhero, we have opposite arm, opposite leg. So your left arm comes up, right leg comes up. Is this why Daddy do my left arm? Yep. But lay flat on the ground. Keep this foot out straight. So that's our superhero. Then we switch to this side. Do our, do our left leg up and our right arm up. Perfect. All right, the cat. Yep. Cat, we're on our knees and our hands are pointing out. And then we just arch our back up straight. I'm already doing it. Hey, this is an easy one because I like when, when there's Push more. those shoulders back. There you go, just like that. And we're always going to concentrate on our breathing. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Very good. All right, flat flamingo. Remember this one? Yep. Because let's do, let's do, um, let's do the left leg first. Left leg first, okay. So we go like this. This one's easy because we just have to lay down and rest your head. Mm -hmm. But we still keep our breathing. Big breaths in through our nose. Big breath out through your mouth. And switch. To your left leg. I meant to your right leg. Mm -hmm. I said left leg long. Like left leg. Left leg? Yeah. That's all right. You should hear me, hear me mess up all day long in school. What? Triangle. Or as you used to say when you were a baby. Try googie. Try googie. And I used to say this in Stormtrooper, Daddy Stormtrooper. Daddy Stormtrooper. All right. So lean down, point up. Try and your hand straight out. Look at me, fish. Oh. So your arms are going one way and like a straight line all the way through your body. And then we switch. Out like that. I like it this way so people can see me more better. Yeah. I'm going to move up so people. Okay. Good idea. All right, and then we got our bench. Remember bench? Okay, but turn your hands so your hands are facing your feet. Yep, turn them under your body, just like that. Okay, feet flat, hands underneath, press up. See, this one's hard for me to get my belly up. Yeah, because you have, um, is your fractured rib okay now? It feels a lot better, thank you. Yeah, hockey injury this year. That hurt. Not so much anymore. Can I go by me? Yes, you may. It's grass this time. See ya. Oh. All right, and the bridge. Bridge looked like this. We had our hands flat, and then we just tilt. I mean, we can, don't do it in the bathroom. That'll be messy. Just go to the bathroom and come back down. And butterfly catcher. This was a hard one. Foot cross. And then we turn away from our body like this. Did you wash your hands? I always wash our hands, especially now. Very important. Here's where I get confused.
Okay. Wait, Daddy. Oh, Just in time for the stork. I forgot the butterfly. That's okay. I'll do it. Very good. All right, butterfly or stork with me. Now, I learned something real important about this because we were always putting our foot on our knee like this. And remember, Mommy said, don't put it on your knee. Either get it up above your knee or down below because you don't want to rest your foot right on your knee, which makes sense. So if you can, get it up above um, your knee. Um, guess what it kind of looks like he's doing? Hmm. It looks like he's doing it like this. Well, he's in that one, he's standing against the wall and he's just got his foot flat on the wall. So we get it up above and hold it, and then... No, you have to side. do it with both hands. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of like the tree. But Very if you had the tree, tree, because trees are wide, if you needed to do the tree, you could just do it like this. That's right. All right. Wide. Last one that we had on our list or was Or you could make stretch. little circles with your arms to make the leaves. Here's our sports stretch. That's where we're going to reach back across our body to the opposite leg. So my right hand is gonna grab my left ankle and I lay down and lift up. One thing I don't do too well is I don't put my head down because I'm always looking at you or looking up at the camera, but really you wanna get your head down and just be flat and calm. So switch to the other foot. So these are the ones we know. Now, five new ones. Let's learn five new ones together. Which one are you doing to like the green? Green. These are the prone positions. Prone means we're on our belly. All right, shuffle them up. Pick one. This is a very famous one. So the downward facing dog looks like that. It's it a very like, famous and yoga it, and, position. And it looks like this in real life. Mm -hmm. So we put our hands, let's read what it says, lie down on your belly, okay? Oh. Just place your hands behind your shoulders and tuck your toes under, okay? Push up onto your hands and feet and push your bottom toward the ceiling. Straighten your legs as much as you can. So we're going to go like this. It says bottom. It does. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Yes. Linked in Amber, focus on our breathing. Leave your feet flat on the ground. It kind of, it kind of looks like mountain climbers, but you have to go lower and move your feet. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not doing that. You just hold it. Let's count to ten. I thought I almost forgot. I got. I, I thought I almost forgot to do it. Ten more seconds. I'm doing my head under. Oh, all right. So that's down dog. We'll remember that one for later. All right. Now these purple ones, hands and knees. All right. Here's a hands and knees one. Pick one from here. What you got? Um, this says, it says cow. Cow, yep. All right. So cow. Go like this. It's cow. Start on your hands and knees. Push your hands and knees into the floor. Lower your belly toward the floor. Lift your head. And bottom toward the ceiling. You forgot to show it to the camera. Oh, thank you. Whew. What would I do without you? That's what the cow looks like. This looks way, like this. That's the, the cow right there. The way this is what it looks like in real life. You're a good teacher, bud. All right, here we go. Feet flat I out. I am like a good PE teacher. Yep, yeah. and then we're just gonna. It says lift your. Head and bottom toward the ceiling. Lower your belly toward the floor. 
So we push down with our belly, and then your bottom and your head go up toward the ceiling. So you're almost trying to make a U shape with your chest and but, stomach. But um, the cow kind of, but you cows go like this, and they stick their head up. Yep. But this We're doing the yoga cow right now. All right, so keep your head up. Stay breathing. All right, so that's the cow. So we've got downward dog cow. All right, here's the red section. These are supine. That means on my back. All righty, here you go. Here we go. Don't spill your beans on this one. Lie on your back with your arms at your side. Stretch your right leg toward the ceiling. Reach up to hold your leg above or below your knee. If you can, yes. lift your head and shoulders off the floor. All right, now we're getting hard. Here we go. We've got our hands like this. I can do it, up. see? Look it. Like that. And then we come up like this. Oh no. Just breathe. It's not supposed to be easy. We should do this when we do them again, Daddy. We should we should do this one first because it's the hard one. Yeah, and yeah. we still got two more to go. <laughs> All right, switch to the other foot. No. Shoulders and head off the ground. Keep that. Leg. And not just being Keep this the other leg out straight. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. See, I can tell you're going, and that's not good. We want to just calmly breathe in. And down. Very good. All right. Two more. What do we got here? These are standing. All right, here we go. What you got? Look at that. Mountain. You just, All right, but you maybe just it's not that easy. Like, you Stand tall with your feet together. Push your shoulders backward and down toward your feet. Stretch your fingers to the floor. Okay, so we're going to stand up straight. We're going to push our fingers down toward the floor. We're going to push our shoulders down with our hands and we'll have our hands straight. You can actually feel your shoulders pushing your hands down to the ground. Hey, you, know what the, you know what would make this harder? What? Holding a lot of stuff in your hands while doing the splits. If you were holding a lot of stuff in your hands doing the splits while you did this? Yeah, yeah like, like, like heavy stuff like pianos and a house and yeah. the whole entire earth. They wouldn't call it mountain if I was doing it. They would call it the Grand Canyon because I was breaking half. And everything would fall down on your arms, and your arms would just go. That's right. All right, sitting. Last one. This is our last new one for the day. Okay. We. Say we. Go ahead. Boat. Boat. The boat. Ooh, the boat. That's 
a good one. I know how to do that easy. All right, well, show me the boat. Then I'll show you. So first, you sit down and then put your knees up like this and then put your arms up. All right, sit tall with your legs straight out in front of you. Bend your knees slightly and place the bottoms of your feet on the floor. Oh. Lift your arms out in front of you at shoulder height. Lean back and lift your feet off the floor to balance on your body. All right, so we go like this. <laughs> don't don't sink your boat. Pretend that somebody's driving. Somebody's driving your boat. Don't let it sink. Breathe in through your nose. And, the, and there's and there's and there's rough water. So nope, you... it's calm water. We're doing yoga. No. It's got to be calm. This water. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. You're on the you're on a long trip back to your you're on a long trip back to to the place where the boat was. That's right. You made it. You made it. All right. So these are our five new ones, good, and we're good, gonna mix good, these. Good job, Captain. Hey, good job, everybody out there. We learned five new ones. So now we have five plus five plus five. What is that? That is five. 10, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. 15. No, that'd be 5 times 4. We have 5 times 3. Oh. 15. Oh, that's 15. All right, so I'll shuffle these up. We'll put on our yoga music and we'll have ourselves a nice little yoga session. Yeah. Then we'll cool down and we'll do yeah. some stretches. Let's do one really. Stop yawning. Okay. If you yawn, you make people tired. All right, so here's no, some good. No, no, it makes me yawn because, because that yoga makes me I found some more yoga music for us. What do you think of this? This is called tube and throat singing.
switch feet. I'm losing it, man. Hey, you know what you should have ate lunch before you did it? Get into cat. Okay. Oh. Like that. Yeah, cat. We already showed him cat. <laughs> I'm doing it back to you. Here we go. Maybe you should bring that yoga collection to, to gym class in, in kindergarten so, so, so your students can learn about yoga. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they won't need to because they're watching these videos and they're all doing them at home, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, so people do it at home too when they're watching you? I hope so. That's why we're doing this. Alright, now we're at cow. Remember, we let our belly drop down, we stick our butt in the air, and we push our shoulders up. Hey, no talking about butt. Sorry. Bottoms. That's what they call it, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're at the stork. Remember, we don't want to put our foot on our knee when we do stork. Up above. Or down below. Down below might be easier. My legs don't bend that way. Fisher, see how I'm doing? Other side? Yeah, if you do like this, it will bend. Well, I don't care if my foot bends. Yeah. You just don't want your knee to bend. I'm making food. Yeah, like this. Alright, here's your buddy. Butterfly catcher. Oh, yeah. 
Take that deep breath in, deep breath out. All right. Great job today. Better one than that. Yeah, there we go. And a handshake. Fantastic. Hey, again, thank you everybody for joining us. Um, hope you enjoyed the yoga unit. Uh, those are the 15 that we'll do. And we will come together on Sunday and we'll do one big yoga session. Um, we'll do a warm up and a stretch and we'll do all the yoga stuff and we'll try and make it look semi-professional uh, as best as we can do as we all learn that together. So come back Sunday and then on Tuesday next week, um, we'll keep up our PE in the basement lessons and we will start something new. All right, I'll have something new for us to do then. Thanks for joining us and stay healthy, stay safe, and we miss you, right? Yep. Have a season. Hey, and which I forgot to say on the second PE class, make sure to subscribe to PE student and PE teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>